Oh, it's definitely different. Oh, man. Oh, geez. Okay, we're falling, falling. Uh, all right, deploy the parachute. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is working. So, folks, you're probably looking at the three objects on screen and wondering, what do these have in common? Well, they all have parts that are supposed to be on a plane. So, yes, that is a plane engine. Yes, that is a homemade plane. And look at this. That is a drag chute. So we're checking out Creations by Drowsy Sam. So I should briefly explain what's going on. First, we're gonna be testing out this homemade aircraft, which I must say, this is one of the best flying crafts I've ever seen in Beam and G Drive. And that's saying a lot coming from me. Oh, it's still exploding. And then we're gonna test out an actual working drag chute here in Beam and G Drive. I've been wanting one of these for a long time uh, for those drag races. And then you're probably wondering, well, what are you gonna do with the last thing, the plane engine? Well, folks, I believe we're gonna try to attach that to the vehicle and make it fly, and then we'll try to use the drag chute. We're probably gonna break physics here. And yeah, we'll try to use it to see if we can slow it down, or you know what, maybe we'll attach it to the back of it. I'm not really sure how we're gonna use this, but we're gonna use it, and we might have to launch a vehicle off the cliff to see if we can make it fly. So let's test out the first thing. Uh, let's go ahead and test out the airplane. By the way, if you guys are enjoying BMG on the channel, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up, ready to go. Uh, here we go. We're gonna go right off the runway. And it didn't take much runway at all. This is a super, super light plane. And look at this. Uh, I'm not very good at flying things. And this thing is so nimble and it just controls so well. So yeah, check this out. We're just gonna fly right under the bridge and then let's go ahead and loop out of this here and let's go cut between the canyon here. I mean, it just, it's so easy to fly. It's kind of weird almost. Like it feels perfect. All right, let's cut through here. Let's get close to the cliff and oh, <laughs> and then dive down in the other one. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get down into the canyon here. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my good. Okay. <laughs> well, it was only going to take a matter of time before Komodo smashed it into the canyon. There's the crash physics for it. So I've got a bit of a challenge. Can I actually get this thing into the tunnel? Uh, this might be a little too much here, but we're going to attempt it anyways. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna aim for it. Gotta be really low. I don't know if we're too wide for it. I think we're covering two lanes of uh, road here. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, this is not a good idea, I don't think. Uh, on, put on, up, 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 up. Look at this. Oh, no! <laughs> I wanna try that again. Okay, here we go. I, I think I have a worse approach this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, maybe me and tunnels just don't get along. But, like I said, nonetheless, awesome plane. Let's go ahead. We're just going to move it out of the way here. So we'll just turn it over here. And then we're going to move to the drag chute here. So the drag chute's uh, fairly simple how it works. Uh, if you're on controller, it's left click on the uh, thumbstick. And it's U if you're on the keyboard. So yeah, we'll probably have to test this out on a proper drag strip. But I just want to test it out here just to give it a go. So here we go. Three, two, one. And we're off. Oh, uh, yeah, and back tires are lit up. We do not have the grip out here like we would at a drag strip, so I'm still spinning the tires. So, yeah, I'm curious as to how much this is going to slow the vehicle down. And can we, like, throw it from the air and stop it or slow it down? All right, drag shoot. Oh, my good. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I think it just ripped off. Oh, no. What happens when Komodo tests stuff in an area that's not meant to do this? Uh... What do you say we drop it from the sky? So I don't think this is the way you're supposed to use a drag chute, but just for uh, funsies real quick. Okay, we're falling, falling. Uh, all right, deploy the parachute. Oh, it actually does affect it. I mean, it's not meant to slow the vehicle down as far as <laughs> falling out of the sky. Hold on. Um, okay. So we see the amount of damage we have. We need to get a, a proper reading on this. Uh, let's go ahead and try that with a vehicle and not get the parachute out don't you like komodo's controlled scientific test here uh oh don't land on the other one and oh we're definitely falling faster holy man so we know it's changing the way the vehicle's handling this and you can adjust this from the tuning menu so let's go run this in a proper test real quick and then we'll uh maybe experiment with putting the plane engine on it and see what happens all right so we're gonna start this off by trying out the bar stow here so let's go ahead and just do it without the drag chute there it goes Oh man, the power on this thing. It feels good. 
All right, so we're flying down to the end, and we would probably deploy the chute back there. I'm just curious, at the end of the drag strip, we're going to be at two, about 209. So let's see how bad this thing, or I should say how good this thing affects the vehicle. So let's go gas it up here. Uh, we'll deploy it at the uh, actual finish line like we're supposed to. I'm not going to hit the brakes, though. Okay, wait for it, and deploy. Oh, look at that. Holy man. That is... That's good. Like, I would love to see this on some of the really, like, ridiculously fast cars. And boom, we can drop it down. Uh, it doesn't actually, like, fold down. You can, it's kind of neat that you can actually uh, put it back in the, uh, the little bag there. But when you slow down, it doesn't actually fall down. It, it is still a, uh, a work in progress. I don't know if that's planned for the future. But uh, you can officially say we have a working drag shoot in beam and g drive which like i said i think i've asked for uh, one of these for a long time because it just felt like it's so necessary especially with some of the uh the vehicles here which hopefully we'll see it on more configurations uh, here in the future so we know it works now okay so this is the ds uh, radial engine so there's two different frame options right now this is just like the standing up version uh oh my goodness uh i was curious as to what kind of power this thing was producing so the way you actually connect this, you need to connect it via nodes. Uh, that's what the creator said. Let's go ahead and uh, check the frame. So we want a portable frame on this. Uh, and this is how we would like set it either on top. I mean, we could try to make it a helicopter uh, or we could just try to attach it to the rear of the vehicle. Might need a different vehicle. Uh, might need something with a little flatter rear section. But yeah, we're about to attach a plane motor to a vehicle. I didn't think we would say that here in BMG Drive, but it's definitely a thing. I love experimental mods. You know, after messing with the editor a bit, I actually realized why are we not doing this with a truck with like a flat surface? So we have the drag truck, still has the drag chute. So it should fundamentally work the same way. So I'm gonna actually drop it. Uh, let's not do the vertical one yet. I wanna do this uh, to where it's setting. Actually, I wanna set it this way. Oh my goodness, this is a thing. Okay, uh, oh, the nodes are not very good on this truck. Uh, can I attach? I need the strength all the way up. Actually, let's move it up a bit. Okay, I've got one node on. Hold on, I gotta, I, need, I wish there was more attachment points here on the truck. I've got one on, so technically it is attached. I don't know how safe this is gonna be. It doesn't look very safe because it's bouncing, but you know what? I think this is gonna work Hold on is this the truck okay so we can go oh my goodness i think i've broken something so we would have taken off actually you know what i feel like let's just take the bed off on this thing and then throw it in there okay so i think i had this thing about as secure as it's gonna be um this looks uh like something okay so i could drive around with the engine in the back and then we can aim for the cliff here uh <laughs> we're about to fly this vehicle off a cliff this is stupid, but this is amazing at the same time. All right, so let's go ahead and I guess actually, you know, I think we need to be in. Okay, let's make sure it stays in neutral here. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is working. This is. Oh, no. Komodo is a cheap flight. It didn't go very far, but I mean, it somewhat worked. <laughs> Dude, you can push vehicles with a plane motor. Man, we have some science going on today. All right, let's go and do that. Attach that one into there. Uh, there's like a million different ways I think you could probably use this. Honestly, I think running from the police and then just flying off the cliff might be the best thing that we could potentially do here with our uh, new plane car hybrid thing. Uh, so stay tuned because we're going to stick the engine on the top side of a vehicle and I want to see if we can take it off like a helicopter. Okay, so we're just uh, doing a little run in here, you know, just going to tick the cops off. I like how the uh, the plane, the little propeller actually speeds up as you uh, as you go faster here. Come on, but okay, the cops are angry at us. So is this a method of escape? Probably not. Dude, I wonder if we can clear the bridge. Actually, no, that's a perfectly level bridge. Like, we're going to definitely drop when we uh, get off the, uh, the cliff here. All right, so cops are angry. All right, so say you were desperate for escape here, and your only option is to go off the cliff. Uh, hold on, let's get it and aim it. Oh, buddy. Okay, hopefully the extra speed here uh, is going to help. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's a bit bouncy. 
Uh, all right, here we go. All right, switch to the plane motor. And there we go. <laughs> I mean, if you fell, you just got to keep getting back up and, and going again. You know, I feel like maybe we should do this same configuration on the car jump arena. Uh, that way we have a nice big run up and actual ramp and see what happens. But that's not going to keep me from putting this thing on the roof real quick. And I guess throwing it in reverse uh, would get you lift. Um, I'm hoping that's the way this works. That's really straight for a helicopter motor, right? <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. All right, so we can move it around a little bit. So if I throw it in, is it reverse or... Oh, hold on. Let's uh, let's get this going real quick. Okay, so that pushes down, obviously. Okay, so that's reverse. So reverse. Hold on, I think I need to start it back up. Okay, so now it's in reverse. So, oh my goodness, it's generating. Okay, it's generating lift. It definitely does that. I feel like maybe the van could be a little too heavy. It's chunky. The only reason I uh, chose it was the whole fact that it has a flat roof on it. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me find a smaller vehicle. I feel like you can make a helicopter car. Uh, you can see that Komodo's done a very wonderful job at connecting the, uh, the helicopter thingy, mabob, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all right, so we need to put it in reverse. Uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. And <laughs> let's see if we can take off here. Oh my goodness. Okay. You know, if you can balance it, you could totally make a... I, I don't know if you want to call it a... I guess you could call it a working helicopter because you can manipulate the way it moves so i kind of want to find a vehicle if you guys had a suggestion for a vehicle that has like the perfect uh spot for this thing and that it would mount on uh actually i'd love to see a roof mount for maybe some of these uh i feel like that'd be awesome to be able to just take off like a helicopter <laughs> what do you say we go to a ramp okay so we have the plane motor inside of this truck i actually aimed it up a little bit i'm hoping that helps with lift i'm not really sure that's the way it's gonna work all right so trucks in neutral let's go ahead and start the throttle oh my goodness i don't have it completely connected uh hold on uh technical difficulties we're fine yeah let's try it again should be completely connected uh oh my goodness all right, here we go down the car jump arena. It was my parking brake on parking brakes on. That's uh, definitely an issue. All right, here we go. want to try to hopefully go straight on. I got to straighten up the car a little bit. Okay. Uh, throttle up. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back. Okay. Throttle back up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if this is, oh, it's definitely different. Oh man. Oh geez. Yeah, we have no hope to actually deploy the parachute there. We're going to run uh, one more with the parachute just to see what happens when you uh, launch off a ramp and then hit it. But man, the plane motor is so cool. It's like one of the things you don't think you need it until you play with it. And you're like, wow, this is awesome. I'm glad it's in the game. As you can see, the plane motor totally is in there legit and it's not sideways at all. All right, here we go. Uh, start to throttle this up. Okay, turn a little. Uh, I want to make sure this thing is aimed correct. All right, gas it back up. Okay, get ready. We're going to switch to the car and deploy the parachute. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if that thing's helping whenever you have a plane motor pushing it. <laughs> this is great. Okay, let's run a control test real quick. Uh, let's see what happens. I like how the control test is at the end. Uh, does this actually affect it much? while you're in the air all right so we're gonna run off and watch how it releases here at the ramp so it looks fine and then click it oh yeah dude it actually does kind of direct it what the heck that honestly makes it land fairly soft i mean you're still uh you still broke the truck but i think that would have been death if we wouldn't have uh, deployed that chute oh boy